Hey, 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 hey. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are. It's another week. First and foremost, thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. All we're doing, I'm trying to get on Instagram too and it's not letting me on the connections. I'm in Nashville. Had a great birthday weekend. Thank you all for the birthday connections, for the love, the support, for reaching out. It feels so good. It really does. You never know in life, right? We just have so many issues going on sometimes and just, ah, but it feels so great to have people come together, wish you happy birthday, to take a moment and to really just reach out. So I really, I do. I thank each and every one of you guys for thanking me or loving me and really offering me that support, really important. All right, I can't do this on on Instagram. The internet in the room is not that great. I'm gonna try one more time, let's see, and then I'll move on. But I do, I thank you so much. I had so much fun, it was great. Started out at the Medicine Wheel on Friday, ending my year. So important that we mark these things. And then a great reading, Z Girl Astrology, great reading, check it out. If you need to know about your life, she did what we call a solar return chart. So it looked at what it was for me for the coming year. Very excited. I mean, I can't really say there's anything I didn't know, but that confirmation that I am in alignment, that I am bringing all that energy in was really important so I can keep doing what I'm doing. Hey, little Wang, how are you? We had so much fun in Nashville. I just saw my daughter join in. So much fun in Nashville. We went down and we did a canoe trip. And I have to tell you, we just kind of innocently went right in, down the Piney River. You know, I've seen the water at the sweat lodges when we go there. And let me tell you, what started out as fun little innocence turned into, oh my God, capsizing and turning over. I got a bruise, she got a bump, I hit my head. But sometimes we have to embrace life with that innocence. We just do, go for it, have fun. What an adventure we created. What a great way to start out a new year, I know. Just really doing something different, having fun, enjoying who you are. With my daughter, how much greater could that be, right? We just really had so much fun. So what a great way to start that adventure. So again, thank you guys all. Thank you, Wing, for coming in and for just really joining me in this adventure in life, for being there and supporting this path that we're all on. We've got a really huge, intense week coming up. We really do. I'm going to share this into the group. If you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle, come on over. I'd love to invite you in. We have so much fun in there offering information. I know I've been posting a lot about this whole... Okay, I'm not on my usual setup. I've been posting so much about the eclipses in there coming up, which is what we're going to be talking about. Let me just share this right in the group. And then I'll be able to focus. All right, here we go. One. Yay. And share it out if you would with me. If you're watching this, probably you'll be watching it later. I'm not on my regular time. But there's so much to talk about this week that I didn't want to not show up. All right, we do have this energy building this week. It is going to be intense. There's no way of getting around it, all right? There really isn't. Just know that. But the way to really work with the energy is to ground your energy. Because you may wake up in the morning going, what's going on? Where am I? What am I doing? So having a little routine, having a little grounding energy is going to be really, really important. When we ground, when we center, then we can come back around to anything that opens up. And that's what eclipses do. It's like a little roller coaster. And this one is a full moon. It's on Friday evening. We're not going to be able to see it here, but we're going to feel it. And it's a very, what they're saying is a very slow moving. So that means that a whole portal of energy, just this whole energy is opening up. So if you want to make changes, if you want to shift your energy, now's the time to do it. Put that intention out there and just know that as you take small, slow, steadfast steps, things will shift for you. All right, don't try to make a big change. Don't try to do, initiate anything big this week. Slow and steady, all right? We had a word for that this weekend. I thought, it, I can't remember what the word was. Marissa, help me here. Pragmatic, no, phlegmatic, something. There was a word for that of slow and steady. And that's really what we want to do. We really want to just kind of center our word, phlegmatic. Thank you. Yes, being phlegmatic. 
slow and steady as we move through this week. Really important that we do that. And each and every morning when you wake up, take a few moments to ground your energy, to feel your feet on the earth, and just say, what is it with me today? What do I need? What can I focus on? That's really what is important that we need to do this week. All right, we're gonna feel a little bit Monday, Tuesday, really what's gonna happen as well as we move into this week by Thursday, Mercury's going retrograde. We all know about Mercury, all right? We've had a lot of other planets this summer in retrograde. Mercury's joining them. That's all that communication, contracts, initiating any kind of thing, computers, cars, any of that kind of stuff. That's what we're gonna expect. So we're gonna really throw it in the earth throw it in the um, you know, uh, throw it in the mix of everything going on all right and then Friday night is when that full moon comes in with that eclipse now the colors the vibration all of that if you looked up what the eclipses was about and they're called the blood moon if you looked up what all of that means they're going to talk about color they're going to talk about how it shifts and changes which means it's vibration which affects us as well all that vibration coming in is an opportunity to realign your energy to drop off what you want to change and step into that new portal of energy just imagine it is like this this like portal like a portal is like a round hole like opening it up and moving through so that you can work with the energy to your advantage. Now they're saying this, this energy is gonna last a while, like six months of energy. So if you really wanna get specific again, I suggest calling up Laurie Zelensky, do a chart reading, where is it exactly in your chart? And then you can get even greater information. But overall, and the general tendency is just notice your path. What are you doing? How can you shift your energy and become in alignment with what you want? And that's the key, what you want. Not what everybody else wants of you, what do you want? What is your truth? All right. So we're going to take a moment and just do a little centering that you could do every day. All right. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be big, but enough that you can feel yourself connected. Obviously, when we get into five minutes, seven minutes, 11 minutes, we work at the brain patterns and that's important too. But if you're busy and you don't think you have enough time, you need more obviously, but need more time to slow down is what I mean. But you can take the time to just kind of shift, come in, talk to yourself and be centered with who you are so wherever you are i don't have my bowl today i'm traveling wherever you are just take a moment take a deep inhale if you can close your eyes close your eyes and just exhale out and then take another breath inhale and then just exhale out and let the stress fall away energy follows intention let it go Call in your body, call in your spiritual body, call it in, call in all the parts that have been scattered around, all right, through all the weekend, and just call it in. Here we are Monday morning, very present for this week, inhaling and exhaling. Now call in your higher self, feel it right in alignment, right on top of your head, call your higher self in, call it in, ask for guidance as you move through this week. As for protection, as for peace, inhaling and exhaling, sending the breath down deep into the earth. Imagine your feet on the earth, feel the roots going deeper, deeper than you've ever felt. Go a little deeper, feel that connection with the earth, inhaling as you breathe that breath up, breathe it from the universe through the heart, through the crown. Do your higher self up into the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, pull all that energy back into the center. That's how we pull our energy in. And then send it down deep into the universe. That's how we ground. Inhaling. And exhaling. Bring the awareness back. Notice how you're feeling. A little more centered. If you need longer, you can take longer. And then begin your day. All right, so again, as we go through this week, today and tomorrow, just be pragmatic about what you're doing, be phlegmatic about what you're doing, slow and steady, know the energy's building, know that you have a bigger emotional body, all the more reason to ground. Thursday's the Mercury retrograde, Friday's the new moon eclipse. Put some intentions out there. Remember, as the full moon builds, as that full moon builds, that's the highest potential for the month. So reestablish your, your intentions for this month before we get to Friday as you move through this week. When you get off of your track, think nothing's working, come back to those intentions. Reestablish those intentions for you. And also come on down Wednesday at the Birmingham Yoga. I'm going to be doing a Reiki circle. I'm going to be doing a crystal grid for the full moon. We're going to sit in a grid, come join me, bring your crystals, and we'll bring in this energy together. 
All right, so I'm going to draw some cards. So pick one, two, or three. I'm going to do a universal cards and then three other cards that can help you look at what you need to move through this work. The first card is the crow. All right, this is a call to action. This is a call to your path. What is it you're doing? This is all about your truth. All about living your truth, what you say and what you do. Bring that into alignment. Really important, that call, call. So it's knowing what it is you're talking about and knowing how you can live in the truth, all right? Many times we say things and we don't exactly live by it. So this is a really great card as you move through this. This will keep you centered to know that you can come back to this intention each and every day. Walking your talk is another way of looking at it. Speaking your truth, knowing what you're saying, your truth, not somebody else's, your truth. And that's a great thing for all of us as we move through this week. What is your truth? Be in that truth. That will keep you guided. All right, if you drew card number one, all right, and a lot of people had card number one in there, it's the medicine wheel. All right, love the medicine wheels just up there Friday. It looks so beautiful trimming and cleaning it up, but it's reversed. When we have a reverse card, they call it the medicine in this deck. This is Colette Barron's Reed and Alberto's Shaman cards. This is to, this is a card that says it's time for you to step into the action of what you need, to do some healing around it. The medicine wheel teaches us about all the cycles of life. We have to move through all those parts, all the seasons, all right? We have to go through there and put our intentions and grow and harvest and dream. So it's time for you to step into that, all right? If you feel out of sorts, come into the season exactly where you are and know that it's time to start that healing path. Don't put it off any longer, all right? It's easy to be on the surface. It's easier to get scattered and want everything else, but really coming into the center, digging in a little bit, especially during this time, is going to help you move through. The second card, if you do card number two, is called the rattle, all right? This is a great tool. This is a medicine man's tool. This calls in, all right? It was reversed as well, all right? So this is also telling us that it's time to really call in those intentions. And it's not being in anger and it's not shouting them. It's really being quiet about it. When this card is reversed, call it in. Know that you can call in the help that you need Get the help that you need. It's a time to really go within and do that. And I think that's important for this week. It's a week that really helps you to pull in that energy to release the excess energy, the excess emotion, the excess loudness, the excess activity. All right, we're in summer. We're getting towards that mid-half summer. It is important, though, that you take a step back and reflect on this, and this week will offer you that. If you drew card number three, this is the journey. I love this card. This is an invitation to step into that energy as well. All right, we know the saying, it's not about the, it's, it's the journey, not the destination, right? So this reminds us to be really present and to really step into that. All right, if you don't have a spiritual practice, if you're not knowing how to do this, get some help. Go to my website, get the, get the free guide so you can start on your spiritual practice. Really important. All right, whether it's five minutes or an hour and five minutes, it doesn't matter how much time it's that you have it and that you consistently come back to listening to that inner part of who you are. Go into the heart. Get out of here. We all live up here. Drop into the heart. Call in your higher guidance. Drop into the heart. That's exactly what this is. And know it's a journey. All right, lots of times all that anxiety and that anxiousness we feel is because we're trying to get to that end result. All right, there's no end result. That's, that's the death cycle, right? We want to go through the journey. All right, this is a beautiful card. Look at his face. Really wise, wide open. Look at the owl on top. It's about really being out there seeing and knowing and picking up the signs in your life. A perfect card for this week because that is exactly what it is about this week. What are the signs around you? How can you move through this portal of energy so that you can empower your life to be in truth? To be in the truth of who you are, all right? That's exactly what this is telling us to do, all right? So if you watch this later, figure out which card really resonates. Maybe they all resonate with you and what you can do to really come into this energy for you this week. This is big, all right? We had the eclipse last year in August. We've got one more coming up in August as well. We had one a few weeks ago with that new moon two weeks ago, and now this one's coming up. All this energy is stirring up. Look at what's going on in the world. All right, and if you don't think you're a part of that, think again. All of this is helping you to really come into alignment, speaking your truth, knowing who you are, right? Whispering to the universe. Use that tool. Call in the help that you need. Remember, it's a journey. Don't try to get to that destination too fast. Now is not the time to make big, huge changes. Now is the time to be slow and steady. All right, slow and steady. 
diplomatic, very important. Yes, it's a great word. I love it that it came up this weekend so much for us. It was a really great thing to think about, how you can move through and get your work done in the same manner. All right? So let me know how you feel below. Let me know if you need some help. Wednesday, Birmingham Yoga. We're going to be doing a beautiful Reiki circle with crystals. I'm going to set up a crystal grid for us all to sit in and magnify this energy. So come, bring some crystals with you. Also, I have a new episode coming out on the Empowered Spirit Show, another one talking about the CBD oils, talking about women entrepreneurs and how they've been really, really out there stepping out in this field and all the many things that they're helping to create in this world. That'll drop on Wednesday. Melissa Beasley is my guest. She's talking about using it in skincare. All right, very important for my own work. I've been talking about the skin cancer, how she's using it in her line, helping other entrepreneurs. Also, social anxiety, how it's really good for that. So be sure to check out that episode. It drops on Wednesday. If you haven't had a chance, go back and, re and listen to the other ones. I've got some more people I've been interviewing. Very excited. i got two more interviews coming up today, putting all these series together. So reach out. If you need some help, reach out, all right? There's so many ways to get help, all right? I'm here, I'm for you. I've got some availability coming up these next few weeks. Let me know. Reach out, check out that free gift on my website, five single steps, five simple steps to setting up your spiritual practice. All right, so go to close. I'll sign off, got some work to do. Take a nice deep inhale and just exhale out. Feel the energy coming forward. Feel yourself being really centered in the universe, feet on the earth. Put out there into the world your truth. What is it you desire? What is the life? What is your purpose that you, you yourself want to live? Not everybody else's, but your own. How can that help and serve the world at this time? How can we make all the shifts that we need right now? It's a journey, one step at a time. But you must take that first step. Take a nice deep inhale. Safe travels, safe journeys as we move through this week. Exhale away. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you again for all the birthday wishes. I feel so loved as I move into a new year and as we all move into this week. Be strong. Be empowered with what you do. One step at a time. Be really strong and steadfast this week as we move into this big energy coming ahead. Feel yourself grounded with Mother Earth. It's a journey, remember. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Thanks again for the wishes. Come on down and join me Wednesday. Check out that new episode. Reach out. You don't have to do this alone. Find some guidance. Find some help. Signing off from Nashville. To your spirit, namaste.